Hello, Pillar Chasers. Welcome to another video. After a long, tiring period of procrastination, I finally decided to start uploading again. I'm also changing up my content a lot. So let's get started, shall we? Today we'll be covering the EXE from Pillar Chase 2 on Roblox. We'll be covering how to properly play the monster and how to effectively counter it. I'm genuinely thankful to the person who made the gameplay video used here, and I will be crediting them in the description. So, let's get started with trap placement. Second ability the monster has allows it to place thorn traps that function like bear traps on the ground. These should be used wisely as you can only place up to 5 at a time. If you try to exceed this number then, the first trap you placed will disappear to create the sixth. When a survivor steps in one of these traps, it gives you a speed boost and highlights the survivor. Now this clearly exposes the fact that EXE is good in some maps, and terrible in some. It has a significant advantage in close quarters and maps with low visibility like House and Eclipse. But keep in mind it's terrible in huge maps like Forest, Facility, and Dungeon, so keep that in mind. If you've been watching the gameplay above then, you might have noticed how the guy places the traps at doorways and stairs. This is called creating choke points. What it means is essentially you need to be placing your traps in routes players usually take. It's all about the prediction. When you've placed all five traps there's two ways you could use them. You can chase players into the traps and eat them alive as they try to escape or just do your thing until a dumb frick steps into your trap. Try to not place traps when players are watching you. This makes them aware that there's a trap and they will usually opt for another route. Quick reminder, you have to be doing all this very quickly. Overwhelming the players will make them step in your traps more often. So the more aggressively you play, the better. Now let's move on to the other ability. The ability is called your to slow, and it gives the monster a speed boost. If you touch a player while the ability is active, then the monster will grab them and bite them. If you find an idiot that isn't running away from you, then hit him with M1, and then use the ability. Because using the ability and hitting it on a player causes you to lose momentum and gives the player some time to get away. So combo it with our M1 first, and it will work like a charm. One of the best choke points I personally like to place traps at our doorways and the bridges in Eclipse map. Good luck on your killing spree stinky six foot tall hedgehogs. Now let's get to countering this freaky ass monster that places very suspicious tentacle traps on the ground. First off you need to know your weaknesses as a survivor. This monster can cancel your subscription to life with just for hits. Well, after the third hit you'll bone broken, so you're pretty much cooked right there. Because when your S bone isn't cracked, you can easily outrun this stupid prick. So as long as you know how to maintain your stamina, you should be good. And if you have a Stefano then, that's even better. Or is it? Because remember it can still place hentai tentacles on the ground. So if you get caught in those, he's just gonna come over and touch you. So if you don't want to get molested by a tall stinky oiled up freaky ass hedgehog then keep your freaking eyes open and don't step in the stupid traps. Knowing choke points as survivor is also good so remember those. Good luck on your pillar chasing. Goodbye.